Hey guys, how's it going? So my name's Mel Headley, and today's video I'm going to basically talk about um, a couple of possible fixes for Skyrim crashing to the desktop. So if you don't know already, I basically I uploaded a video probably god six to eight months ago, and it was last year anyway. I don't know what when it was. You can look yourselves. And basically I walked you guys through how to fix Skyrim crashing um, when you ran the game, when you loaded a save, or at some point during your playing, and. I was basically, I the game was crashing for me and I found the fix by just basically trying different stuff out. Um, so I will show you that you, you guys that now and before I start onto new stuff. Um, because that, that uh, fix actually still still work. I get comments most days and from people saying that it works. Um, I also obviously get people saying it doesn't work. So this video is more for those guys. But I'll quickly show you guys that fix now if you haven't watched that video. So the first thing you want to do is click your start menu on your Windows 7 or whatever you're on. Um, I don't know if this works on Mac or whatever other operating system we're on. This is for Windows 7. This is what I work on. So what you want to do is type in percent app data and then another percent and hit enter. And I spelt that wrong. That's good. So percent and click enter. And this will take you to this page. And basically what you want to do is go up to the top here. You can see here where my cursor is and click app data. So when you're here, you want to click the local and then you want to scroll down to Skyrim. So just click that and then you'll have these four text documents. So in that video, I believe I used the plugin.txt file. So if you want to open that, then you'll see this. This is basically all the mods that I've got installed in the game. If you don't use mods, then you'll probably just have maybe the first, you'll have the DLC, you'll have Update, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, Dragonborn, which is the DLC, and then you might have the high resolution texture packs. And that's really all you'll have if, you don't, if you've never installed a mod. But in that video I told you that Skyrim.esm was at the top and I had I think two of them which is why I, the game was crashing for me so basically what I did is I deleted one and that fixed it for me. However Skyrim has been changed a little bit the way I guess these files are done and basically I think it is now that it is in load order which you may need to change so you can see now I've got Skyrim.esm here. If you have two of these then I would recommend deleting one. If you've got any more than two um, you should only have one, I believe. It should be Skyrim.esm at the top, then Update, then Dawnguard. As you can see now, you can look at the way mine is listed. Um, you'll have, if you haven't installed mods, then you'll have these first, what is it, five ones. You'll have Skyrim, Update, then the three DLC packs, and they should be probably in that order. It doesn't really matter too much, um, but Skyrim.esm should be the top, then followed by Update. And if you have anything different, then change it. Um, the game's working for me fine. I haven't actually had any problems with the game crashing since then. But we'll look at the next one, we'll look at DLC list, and this is basically just a DLC game, this doesn't matter too much. Um, I haven't really experimented with this, it seems to just be all the mods that I've got installed. And then you've got Steam mod list, which is empty for me because I don't use Steam. And that's basically the fix for that, so you can try that. If you don't have Skyrim.esm in any of these files, then try adding it in. Um, I'd recommend making a save off this file as a backup, so you can um, roll it back if it doesn't work. And from what I can see is you should have a Skyrim.asm and the loadorder.txt file. Um, and for me at least, I don't need one here. I probably could add one, it probably still might work. But for me it's working, the game's working fine, I don't need it there. So that's basically the fix I explained in that video. Um, so I'm going to close this all down now. And I've got Nexus Mob Manager open here. So this is more if you use mods. Um, the game, most 90, probably 90% probably of the time if you're using mods and the game's crashing, it's probably a mod that's causing it. So you can see here, this is the latest version of Nexus Mob Manager. It's version 0.44.7. And you can see here, this is all the mods I have installed. They're all in order. I think they're on all alphabetical order. And the first thing you probably want to check is make sure that all your mods are up to date. You can see here, some of my mods aren't up to date. The reason why this may cause your game to crash is if you're running a mod that's not compatible with your current version of Skyrim. For example, if I'm running, let's just see if I can find one. Let's say if I'm running Skyrim Redone. So Skyrim Redone is kind of a, it's a mod that doesn't work well with other stuff and if you're out of date then you're probably going to crash. So if the version of Skyrim Redone that I'm currently running, let's say it's 1.1, what, what is it, 0.99.23, say I'm running that and Skyrim updates today to whatever version, I don't know, say version 2 just for handiness. And this version of Skyrim Redone doesn't work with that version of Skyrim, you'll have to update the Skyrim mod, Skyrim Redone mod to make it work. Um, so that may cause your game to crash if you're, out, if you're running an outdated mod with a new version of Skyrim. Um, so just keep that in mind, you could, if you wanted, set Skyrim not to update automatically. So I'll kind of eliminate this problem, but I like having the game up to date and I always look through mods afterwards and see 
I read the description, go to the Skyrim mod page, read the description, if you click here you can see all the description for the mod. Um, for example, Skyrim Overhaul it gives you the change log. It probably, most of the time it will tell you about what version of Skyrim it works on. Um, most of them shouldn't have a problem unless it does something really big, I guess like Skyrim Redone. Um, so just check that, keep mods up to date. And so the next thing is you want to go to your plugins tab um, here and this basically lists, this is the, your order that your mods will be loaded in. So at the top, I like you seen in the little text file, is Skyrim.esm is the top and you can't change this. Um, so you shouldn't really have any problems with that. Skyrim must be loaded first obviously because that's the base game. Next, day, next one is update.esm. Um, this is pretty much always under, underneath Skyrim. And you can see this for yourself, usually the DLC next and then your mods start coming in in order. Um, so what could cause you here to crash is if you install a mod that basically it needs a master file above it to work. So if I've got a mod, let's see if I can actually find one that needs that. Should have one here somewhere. Um, so yeah, you can see here Hoth Stripper. This is the armor, armor compilation. This is the, I think it's Medianborn Book of Silence or maybe or not. This is Immersive Armor, sorry. So this mod is Immersive Armor as you can see here. So this is a ESP file and it, this mod requires um, two master files above it. So this means, it shows here it needs Skyrim.esm above it and it needs Spike.esm above it. So if this mod happened to be a, above spike.esm then it wouldn't work and your game might crash simply or uh, again if you're using a mod that changes the dlc then you'll need the mod to be underneath the dlc esm uh, i'm trying to find another one so here we've got skyrim redone survivalism and this beats four masters above it so you need skyrim update then dongyard so if you happen to have this um, above the dongyard.esm then it wouldn't work most of the time nexus mod manager won't let you do this because ESMs are typically at the top of the list and you can't put an ESM or ESP sorry above an ESM so most of the time you should be okay but sometimes you get one that requires an ESP above it um, actually like this is a good example I missed this so this Skyrim Redone Survivalism ESP needs the Skyrim Redone main ESP above it so this is when it can go a little bit wrong you need this above that file um, otherwise it'll crash or you may not mod may not work correctly and that's really it for the load order um, there is another tool, let's close this for now. So there's another tool you can go, I'll link it in the description where you can download it and it's called Boss. So Boss basically, it'll sort your load order for you. Um, it'll put them in the best order possible for the best performance and for the best compatibility. And it'll sort all the ESPs and ESMs in the right place for you so everything should work fine. So I'll put a link in the description as I said, you can do, go down that and install it and then you can find it in your start menu programs list. And then open Boss GUI, you can't open another one the GUI one's a little pretty here. Um, so just open that, double click, and you'll get this little window. So you basically, you wanna click, make sure you're um, running Skyrim, so click activate game and select Skyrim. And just leave everything as it is, and click run boss. And this'll download the new list, and basically it's working, it'll find all the latest mods, and then it'll open a Chrome page, or whatever your default browser is, and you'll, you'll get an overview. So we can see here, summary. We click summary, and this basically shows um, I've got 41 recognized mods installed. I've got two inactive mods, and that's 41 altogether. Um, I've got four warnings, um, zero errors, and that's 33 all. So if I go here, SKSE plugins, this basically shows the plugins that use SKSE, it's not too important. Recognized plugins here, so this tells you some of the ones that may have a problem. So you can see here, um, this is the Cloaks mod. Um, I'm only supposed to have one of these activated, which I actually do. Um, so that you can ignore that if you've got that. And then there's a warning for Skyrim Redone. Um, basically, um, it says that this conflicts with their mods a lot. Um, but that's really not that important. If you uh, run the game fine, um, then this shouldn't really matter. Just read the Skyrim Redone page. It'll usually tell you what um, mods don't work with it. And that's basically it. Um, let's see this one. This plugin has improperly numbered form IDs. Um, so yeah, you can look for an update. Um, just read through this. This will order your load order for you if you maybe don't want to do it yourself. And that's really all you need to do. Um, Boss is a really useful tool. I use it pretty much all the time when I use a new mod. Um, and it doesn't recognize all mods. Not all mods are on it. There's some that um, it hasn't been updated. If a mod you install is not on it, then you can submit it to the boss, I guess, team or development team, whatever. Then they'll try and update it um, and match it and they'll figure out the best way to put it. 
that's really it for um, fixing scarms crashing and um, if you're still having problems after doing all this or if you're not running mods then all I can suggest is it's probably going to be something wrong with your system maybe something's wrong um, with your operating system you may have a corrupt file um, scar may not be installed correctly um, your save may be corrupted that's another possible thing um, your save may be bad try making a new character see if that works if you still crash um, if you work but that way then that's probably your saves bad and there's really not much you can do, it's out of my knowledge that you can fix it. There are probably ways you can do it with test 5 edit, um, but that's out of my experience. But anyway, um, other things, you could try reinstalling the game, you delete it off Steam, reinstall it, download it, and install it all again. You can back your saves up, just copy them to another drive or whatever, and you can copy them back over. Um, another thing you could probably do is go into Steam, um, if it'll open. So go into Steam, find your Steam library, and go to Skyrim. Uh, where is it here? And right click on it and go to properties. If I can actually click on it, come on. There we go. So go to properties and go over to local files. And you can click view integrity of game cache and click that and that'll work for a little minute. And that'll download any missing files um, that may cause the game not to work correctly. And that's, I think that's about it that I can really tell you guys. I just really want to make this video as a little update because I get a lot of questions and a lot of messages and comments on that video. Um, a lot of people don't doesn't work for them so basically I want to try and elaborate on a little bit um, there's actually more videos on YouTube for this um, actually a good video you can go check is um, Gopher which I'm actually a big fan of but some of you guys may already know so I'll put an annotation to his video on fixing Skyrim crashing um, he talks about a lot of this stuff in more detail but yeah try those things if it doesn't work then leave a comment if you want I'll try and help you out um, as best I can. I can't help everyone. I'm not an expert. Um, basically just this true experience is this stuff. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Why not leave a like and favorite if you did. Um, subscribe here if this did help you or subscribe. I do daily game videos every day. At the minute I'm doing Bioshock, Skyrim, um, more to come. So as always guys, I've been Lee and I'll see you next time. Bye.